Thanks so much for joining and I hope you're doing well today. My name is Simon Benari. I'm an accessibility solution specialist and I'll be presenting our amazing AI driven web accessibility tool. Now, I wanna give you a quick rundown of what we're gonna be going through today. And first and foremost, I'll give you a quick overview of web accessibility and its relationship with ADA compliance so you can better understand the current climate from a technical and legal perspective. Then I'll give you a quick overview of our solution and its features. And finally, I'll take you through the process of becoming compliant with us. Now, this presentation takes about five to seven minutes to get through. And I typically answer all questions throughout the demo. So just in case you might have questions during the presentation. Now, to get right into it, web accessibility is ultimately a set of rules, behaviors, code standards, and design guidelines that were created by the W3C. And they're called the WCAG. 2.1. The WCAG 2.1 is a massive 1,000 page guidebook that encapsulates a range of disabilities that go from hindering internet use to making internet use impossible without significant adjustments. Now the spectrum here actually comprises 20 to 25 percent of the general population depending of course if we're going with the CDC or the World Health Organization. Now there's many disabilities covered. And the primary categories that require attention are blind people using screen readers, the motor impaired using only the keyboard to navigate, epilepsy, color blindness, cognitive and learning disabilities, visual impairments, and more. The WCAG 2.1 at the AA level has been adopted as the global standard for web accessibility, acting as the benchmark in legislation such as the ADA Title III, Section 508, AODA, European 301549, and many others. Now, I wish I can tell you that the exponential increase in demand for web accessibility has been a result of everyone coming to the understanding that business owners and people with disabilities have so much to mutually gain from this endeavor. Frankly, ADA compliance lawsuits are on nothing short of an intense rise. 200% year over year with reports of tens of thousands of demand letters and lawsuits that are targeting businesses of all sizes. Now at first, only the largest of enterprises and government institutions were legally pressured to become accessible, and that makes sense. One of the most significant shifts in the legal climate was when the Department of Justice in the end of 2018 officially affirmed that all websites are considered public accommodations and therefore must comply with Title III of the ADA. Now, what makes things worse for the business owner with all that being said, are the current alternatives to become compliant. The current options in the market today are either free or low cost plugins that do not provide you more than 10 to 15% of the accessibility you need in order to become compliant. You also have manual accessibility services that do bring you up to full compliance, but they cost between 20 and $40,000 per website. They take several weeks and in many cases, months to implement. And of course, the worst part is the tedious and costly maintenance. Now imagine having to spend all of that time and money on coming to understand that every time you wanna make a change or revision to your site, you have to either spend thousands of dollars or sacrifice a significant amount of the accessibility that you worked so hard to attain. Now, as you can imagine, these options leave 99% of businesses without a feasible solution that's gonna protect them from lawsuits or help them to help people with disabilities. And in order to solve this impossible situation, we created our AI accessibility tool. Now, our, our accessibility tool is an AI powered machine learning software that was developed with the understanding that successfully automating the process creates a simple, immediate, affordable, and compliant solution that serves as a win-win for both the business owner and for people with disabilities who just want equal access to the internet. Taking into consideration our pricing model, which is a fraction of the cost of manual remediation, our solution is not only a no-brainer in comparison to the other alternatives in the market, it actually makes being accessible and compliant a no-brainer in general for the majority of businesses that otherwise wouldn't have a reasonable solution. Now we developed our solution side by side with leading experts in accessibility and assistive technologies in order to ensure the highest success rate in the industry with respect to going above and beyond the standards for compliance. This is of course evident in the fact that none of our clients have ever received a compliance lawsuit 
after implementing our solution. It's very important to note that one of the legal requirements of being ADA compliant is to have an accessibility statement that highlights your website's accessibility. The document here is our accessibility statement, which also acts as a certificate of performance. Now it explains all the adjustments the solution has made to the website, browser and assistive technology compatibility, and it describes how to report feedback. The statement will be personalized to the name of your domain and dated. It will be available to all users within the interface and sent to you via email within 48 hours from the installation once our AI completes its process. Now lastly, and from our experience, business owners have found that the best part of becoming compliant with us is definitely the super simple process. The first step is you install a single line of JavaScript code. That takes five minutes to install and can integrate with any website or CMS platform. Then your website instantly displays our accessibility interface and simultaneously the AI kicks in and within 48 hours it's finished. Your website is fully accessible, compliant, and you'll receive the accessibility statement to your email. Now I'd have to say that the biggest advantage to using our solution is the automatic maintenance because it means that our AI rescans the website every 24 hours to make sure that any changes or additions are also being remediated. Now ultimately, after the five minute installation, you can forget about compliance issues because everything else is done automatically, even for websites that update daily. Now I wanna get into our features and how we achieve compliance. We simply do that by leveraging two components. The first is our accessibility interface, and that's responsible for handling the UI, design, and cognitive related adjustments. The interface is structured by disability profiles and enhancement features. That way, users with different disabilities can simply select the profile that best suits their needs. Among these profiles, you'll find an epilepsy safe profile, a visually impaired profile, cognitive disability profile, ADHD friendly profile, and the interface is also fully customizable and can be fitted to your website's brand and design. The second is our AI machine learning powered process that handles keyboard navigation adjustments for the motor impaired and blind people screen readers. Now a screen reader is a software used by blind people to operate computers and websites and it's installed on the operating system. It basically reads aloud the content focused on the screen and it also helps with navigation and orientation aspects. Adjustments to those screen readers are what the legislation requires and our solution comes in by handling all on-site aspects using a contextual understanding AI that's responsible for mediating menus, drop-downs, pop-ups, forms, icons, buttons, and all other elements by applying the appropriate screen reader texts, ARIA attributes, and website behaviors. Now, to automatically provide alternative text for images, or alt tags, our solution utilizes IRIS and OCR technologies to scan and learn the objects as well as the text that is embedded within the image. By the way, everything that I mentioned is fully supported in 14 different languages. Thanks so much for joining me today. And in our next video, I'll be going over a features demonstration and showing you how all of the functions and capabilities of our solution works live on a website. Hi there, Simon again. Thanks again for joining, and on this video, we're gonna be covering a live features demonstration of our solution. That's gonna break down into two components. The first is the accessibility interface, or the foreground application, and the second is the background application, which is the AI responsible for keyboard navigation and screen reader adjustments for the motor impaired and fully blind. Now I'm going to open the interface, and one thing I'd like to start off with is saying that the beauty of this accessibility interface is that you do not have to compromise the brand, look, or design of the website in favor of accessibility because this interface allows users to make adjustments only when needed according to their specific disability. Now the first part of the interface breaks down into profiles which optimize for a specific category of a disability. For example, the seizure, the seizure safe profile. Now, this profile allows for users with epilepsy to stop any moving animations, 
as well as reducing the color in order to allow for a safe browsing experience. Now, for example, do you see the flickering GIF, the video moving on the bottom right hand side, as well as the moving animation? When I turn on the Seizure Safe profile, it stops all the moving content, again, allowing for a safe browsing experience while also reducing the colors. The next profile is the visually impaired profile, which enhances the website's visual in order to allow people with specific minor visual impairments to optimize and enhance so that they will be able to see and operate the website in a more user-friendly way. When I turn on the profile, you'll see that the scaling has been increased by 100%. The saturation and contrast has been increased, as well as the fonts that are, have been changed to the system user's default font, which will be clearly readable to them. Now, this helps for degrading eyesight, tunnel vision, cataracts, glaucoma, and many others. The last two profiles I'll show you here are the cognitive disability profiles and the ADHD friendly profile. Starting with the cognitive disability profile, which highlights all of the links, menu items, and titles, allowing for more focus and assists with reading experience. If you take a look, all of the animations have stopped as well, again, allowing for a more focused experience. You have the ADHD profile, which gives you a reading mask, allowing for fewer distraction by, again, stopping all of the animations and moving content, increasing the saturation, allowing for a more focused browsing experience with fewer distractions. The last two profiles, as you see here, are for blind users and keyboard navigation for the motor impaired, which are not really going to be used on the interface. They're really more there uh, for showing purposes. Of course, all of these profiles can be enhanced manually and customly by a interface that allows you to increase scaling, make the font more readable, highlight titles, links, increase font size, alignment, letter spacing, and for impairments such as cataracts, glaucoma, or color blindness, you have the option to change to a dark contrast, a monochrome scheme, and depending on the severity of the situation, change specific text, title, and background colors in order to optimize for your specific browsing experience. The last thing I'm going to show you on this interface, which has over 75 other features, is the Cognitive and Learning Glossary, which allows users to look up and understand certain terms and phrases like binge watching. Great. Now that we covered this, Let's get into the backend application, which, as mentioned before, mostly re relates to keyboard navigation and screen reader adjustments for the motor impaired and the fully blind. The way that we activate this new layer of accessibility, which we like to call accessible mode, is by specific functions. For example, a motor impaired user that uses the keyboard to navigate, more specifically the tab key, which is the universal key for keyboard navigation, will be able to tab through the site and automatically turn on accessible mode, which makes the necessary adjustments. A blind user will get an announcement directly to their screen reader, whether it be JAWS, NVDA, or any other screen reader. And the announcement will be to press Alt-1 in order to activate screen reader and keyboard navigation adjustments. Now, I just press Alt-1, which allows me to get into accessible mode. And when I first start to navigate, I see an accessible navigation menu, which allows me to browse between all of the clickable content on the site, or simply press Tab to skip through. Now, you see all of the icons, search bars, menus, access to drop-down menus as well. When triggering open pop-ups, the keyboard focus lifts and lands on the pop-up, 
allowing for you to continue navigating, or press escape to continue from where you left off. You also have the ability to navigate through sliders. And as you see, all of the menus, forms, icons, and all of the more complex parts of web accessibility are things that our solution excels in remediating. The last part I want to show you here is the image recognition technology, which I think is very, very exciting. And in order to do that, I'll go ahead and reset the settings one more time. For this, I'm going to have to inspect the console and show you a couple of elements before accessible mode is turned on, and of course, once it is already on. If you take a look at the console, and I just inspected the GIF over here that says traveling, shopping, 15% off, you see that there's no label, there's no description for the image, and the text that's embedded within the image has not been converted into screen reader text for this image as well. Or perhaps the Facebook icon. Or the favorites button. I'll show you one more image for good measure. And now I'd like you to see what happens when I activate accessibility mode. Again, as mentioned by pressing Alt-1. I hope you're able to see the code changing live. And let's reinspect the element one more time. As you see, the alt using image recognition technology has been provided, in this case, women in shorts standing on gray concrete floor near body of water during daytime. Or for the GIF, where you have the image recognition technology that is describing wood, retro, and luggage, as well as the optical character recognition deriving the text embedded within the image to say travel, shopping, 50% off, just like it is on the image. As you see here, again, a fully labeled description and deriving the text embedded within the image. I want to show you some of the icons and other items, like the Facebook icon, which is assigned a new window, and Facebook attributes, as you see here. Or this heart, where using contextual understanding AI and how our technology compares elements on your site to hundreds of millions of data sets and tens of thousands of websites knows that this is not just a heart. It is, in fact, a favorites. Great. Now, that some, about sums it up. And, of course, to learn more, you can always contact your respective rep in the company, your point of contact, to ask any other questions about our solution whether it is from a features point of view, a legality point of view, or just a general market perspective as it pertains to web accessibility. I really appreciate you joining us today. Take care now.